Yeah, good morning to you. Thanks for thanks for joining us. You've got a, a big, big smile on your face. No wonder about that, because at the moment things are going very well. Let's not just talk about yourself. Let's talk about how the team settled down now in League One. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm actually always smiling, so that's nothing new. We could have lost three games on a bounce, I would still be smiling. <laughs> no, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Obviously, we're we we're, 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 we're how many we're five games in now. We've I think we've we've we we finally found our feet. We got we got a couple of win uh, a couple of wins. Uh, we're uh, we're unbeaten in three games now, so I think. Uh, it's 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 um, it's an okay start. It's an okay start, and uh, we're we're scoring goals, and um, yeah, hopefully we can keep going. We can keep going that way. Did you expect it to be the general improvement was coming? Excuse me. Did you expect this general improvement in the form and the results was always going to come? Yeah, um, yeah, um, absolutely. Even if you watch the games against Charlton and against Hull. You could tell that we were unlucky. We're, we're, we're unlucky not to score goals. We're, not un, we're unlucky not to get more out of the game. And I think it, w it was always going to come. And uh, sometimes it, it just takes a, a, a little bit longer, you know. And I think um, we, we still have room for improvement and we can, we can still get better. And I'm sure it will come. The team's been creating some terrific opportunities, haven't they? And you've been taking your fair share of them. How pleasing is it to be in a team like what you've got at the moment, how, how they play, knowing that you're a striker who thrives on, on the supply? Yeah, as you say, it really makes my job easy because cause, cause we create so many chances. Um, I think um, I think on Saturday was maybe the game where we created the less, the less chance. I only got two chances. And I say only when really... Uh, because we've been used to cre creating so many, and also it's like I'm not the only one getting chances. You know, the the wingers are get, again chances. The 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 the, the centre backs when we, we when we get we get like a like a corner or free kick, they get chances as well. And the goals are coming from they're coming from everywhere, which I think is 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 it's um, it's very healthy for the team. Consistency, the best teams. Now you've got to keep on a consistent run. Mm. And yeah, you're right. I think uh, as you see, you see every year in football, the teams who are doing the best at the end of the season is the teams who have managed to be to be the most consistent throughout uh, 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 throughout the year. And uh, I think um, I think we can definitely do that. We can definitely um, play at a high level on a consistent basis, score goals, and um, I'm sure we will keep will keep on doing that. Well, come on then, let's look forward because it's Sunderland next. What are your thoughts? You're going back to to the Mackhams, to the West side. Yeah, I've seen, I, mean, I mean, it's a it's a fixture that I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm always I'm always looking forward to. Um, I've had some great I've had some great years there, and um, it's 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 always uh, um, a really good feeling, a really good feeling to go back there in this in, in, in the stadium. Obviously, they won't have the fans this time around, but um, it's, um, I'm still looking forward to it. And I think uh, I really, really like really like our chances. It's a big pitch. The, the pitch, is, pitch is usually great. It, it, it plays into our hands, and um, I'm re I think uh, I'm really looking for, I'm really looking forward to the game. And I think we will we'll definitely get something out of it. It was an insight to what it was like being a young boy, you know, young footballer trying to find his way at Sunderland because it is a massive, massive place. We know all about what's going on with off the field problems and financial problems, but it's still one of the biggest clubs. It still could be one of the biggest clubs outside the Premier League. What's it really like to be up there? Uh, at the time, it, it, it was amazing. That's free for me, a, a, a young boy coming through, you know, as a time we're in the Premier League. At the time, the club didn't have any financial issues at all. And it was great. We, we, we had some great players in the team, with the likes of, of, of John O'Shea and, um, and Wes Brown, you know. And, and every game was just amazing, uh, ama amazing uh, at the stadium. The fans singing. The fans were singing and and, and, chant, and chanting for ninety minutes, and uh, I think what was tough at the time is that the, the lack of of consistency because we used to the, the manager used to change a lot, so so obviously that's never easy. 
but yeah it's it's an it's it's a huge club and uh they they definitely deserve to go back up and uh, and 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 I wish them all the best for for and ho hopefully they can go back up there in the next few years. You're not wishing them all the best tomorrow, though. Absolutely not. So no, I'm <laughs> not, not. Yeah, hopefully they can have a have a good season, but not tomorrow. <laughs> not tomorrow. An interesting point is that uh, you know how to score against Sunderland as well because. You scored for Gillingham last year and that didn't do their promotion hopes much good at all. But that's how you have to be. You have to be professional. Yeah, I, I didn't realise until way after that the, the, the goal I scored at the last minute is what stopped them from, from making the playoff. <laughs> I didn't realise at the time. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Obviously, uh, you, you, you have to do a job and um, you, you, you give your best uh, every single game and hopefully I can, I can call... I can call... I can score goals tomorrow and um, and hopefully we can beat them now. Talking about scoring goals, that's five goals in seven games for you. A terrific way to settle yourself down at a new club. You, you, you must be loving it at the moment. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Every time I speak to my friends and to my family, um, I always go on about how much I'm, I'm enjoying my time here, how I, I enjoy playing, the, the, and, and the, the way we've, we play football is really uh, is really suited for me. The way um, the, the the way my teammates play, and they, they're always trying to find me and create chances for me. So it's it's going great at the minute. Yeah. And. Uh you're scoring all types, you know, you're getting in there. Is that something that you're improving your game with as well? Is that what they, you're learning a little bit with the coaches at Crew in your early days? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you can't, they're, they're, you, 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 you're obviously going to get different type of chances every game and you, you have to be ready. You have to be ready. And uh, you, you, as a striker, you should be able to finish um, any type of chances, maybe with your head, with your, with your feet, obviously, you, whether it be one touch or two touch, um, you should be able to do everything. So I work on that a lot. And uh, yeah, what, what was it in the league? I've got a header and a tap in and a volley. So yeah, a little bit of everything there. <laughs> a little bit of everything.